I don't think this was a coincidence. Things like this don't happen to people like us. Gary and I had breakfast every morning, planned our day, and then all of a sudden this. It looks delicious. Honey, sit down. You've been slaving away in that kitchen all I'm morning. I'm coming. I made you some tea. I mean, it was a different brand of tea, but what kind of tea would do that sort of thing to a person? Now, don't drink it too fast. You always burn yourself, you silly man. Come on, honey. Do you think I'm stupid? Litterberg went into a frenzy after the case of exploded head teas plagued the town. The tea in the city is contaminated. They're trying to kill us. Heads should not come off our bodies when we are drinking our tea. So I heard something about this tea. I mean, I think it's the Russians if you ask me. Someone's responsible for poisoning our tea and the police should be doing something about this. In their confusion, they turned to a man who was born to be a hero. That's the car, that's our suspect. You sure about that, partner? Yeah, that's our kingpin, all right. We're gonna catch this drug dealing son of a bitch. Let's <laughs> converge on Carson Avenue. Let's go. There's the metal. Come on. Driver, get your hands out the window. Get out the car. Get out the car, you cocaine loving bastard. Can I help you, young man? Shit. Don't fire me. We're not gonna fire you, we're gonna demote you. Not, not to s sergeant. State trooper? Oh no, 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 no! Environmental investigator, which is basically the, the grassroots of law enforcement anyway. So, would you say that this is rather a promotion? Oh, absolutely it is. Um, they even set me up with some, some partners. We're basically, one step below the FBI. Get out of my crime scene, Vern. Oh, come on, Heather. The FBI just can't hog the crime scene. Yeah, we can. That's what we do. We solve crimes. Well, you do know that this is all connected to the tea factory downtown, right? We know. The guy who died, Gary, he owned the factory. What? Yeah, and that's not all. There was a few more incidents. What incidents? Dude, I heard this tea was pretty mind-blowing. Really? I mean, this is really getting out of hand, guys. I think it's pretty obvious, don't you think? Whoever is contaminating the tea with explosive reactive powder must be doing it straight from the tea factory. Oh, what are you saying? Wait, I think I read you. We just have to drink decaf tea. What? No! <laughs> no, you idiot! What she's saying is that we should stay far away from the factory in case it explodes or something. Guys! The bad guys are gonna be at the factory! We can apprehend them! <laughs> Marie, you're a freaking genius! Tomorrow, we're gonna get those bastards! Woo! Cheers! Danny, that wasn't tea, was it? What? All hope seemed lost for the town of Litterberg, but Vern Ehrling seemed determined to solve the case, no matter at what cost. So, you plan to catch the bad guys today? Oh, honey, I got no doubt in my mind that we're gonna catch them bad guys. We got a few uh, suspicious vehicles that we've been checking out. Ain't nobody getting past me. Oh, shit. Stop your vehicle! Stop your vehicle! Stop your vehicle! Get off the goddamn vehicle, you headless bone bastard! Can I help you, young man? Miss Flanagan, what, what the heck are you doing out here? I was at Gary's office signing the payout papers for his life insurance. Good thing he took out that $10 million policy last week. Oh. Oh, yeah, he did own this tea factory, didn't he? He sure did. Say, do you think they'd let me file for the factory should anything happen? Huh. I'll see why I couldn't. Okie dokie. I'll be seeing you around then. Okay. Take it easy, Miss Flanagan. False alarm. Just Miss Flanagan.
What if she's the mastermind that contaminated the teas, that murdered her husband and tons of innocent people? That sweet old lady? Let me tell you something, Marie. It's never the sweet old ladies. We should probably go. Wanna grab coffee? I'm more of a coffee guy myself. <laughs> <laughs> 